Newton's falling apple story was totally made up. Isaac Newton, a man who invented calculus, discovered the laws of motion, the laws of optics, and improved on the telescope design, all before he was 26 years old. The most compelling story, of course, on Isaac Newton is the story on how he discovered gravity. The story goes that he was sitting in his family's orchard one day contemplating things when an apple fell from a tree, triggering something in Newton's mind that later went on to form his laws of universal gravitation. He explained to his biographer that this was the point that the notion of gravity first entered his mind. Now, you won't find a bigger fan of Sir Isaac Newton than me, but, the apple falling from the tree story is totally made up. Newton admitted later in his life during an interview that he fabricated the apple falling from the tree story as a way to discredit some of his colleagues who were the true catalysts for his notion of gravity. These colleagues were Robert Hooke and Edmund Halley. Now you might recognize that last name. It was Edmund Halley, of course, who discovered the well-known comet, which we now name after him. Now, Hook and Halley had many, many conversations with Newton about all variety of things. And Halley's discussion with Newton about his comet and the nature of its orbit around the sun was the final piece of the puzzle that Newton needed for his concept of gravity. The story of Halley's Comet is a beautiful one, by the way, which I'll leave for another day. Now, don't get me wrong, the discovery of gravity and its effects is one of the most monumentous ones in recent history, but it wasn't because an apple fell from a tree. It's simply not true. I've been Simon Dan, this has been another Misconception Mini, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe here, definitely click that one, 100% click that one, uh, and then more videos there. De I mean, click that one as well, if you want. I mean, they're there, so you may as well click them. Uh, that one's quite good, but you know, equally that one too.